Okay, so today we're going to be talking lat pull down. Now, this movement, a lot of people struggle feeling like their lats, especially when they start like first doing this movement and like basically just beginners the gym. I'm the same way. I, was, I mean, I was the same way. I really struggled feeling my lats in this. And I got, it got me real mad because, you know, you go to the gym, you can't feel anything on your back. Then. You know, that was like the worst feeling ever. So I'm just go with three simple things that you can start doing literally. And you'll start feeling your, your lats, you know. So first, you want to be gripping the end of the bar. So like the widest grip you can possibly get. This, I feel like it's just better overall, kind of for beginners. And just when you're first starting out with this movement, then you could like, once you kind of get the used to, used to this movement, you can start kind of experimenting with different grips. But as of right now, I feel like wide grip is pretty much the easiest to figure lats with. And then before you even pull it, there's a mistake a lot of people that I see a lot of people make, and it's to retract your back. So if you don't know how to retract your back, it's very simple. Basically, pull your shoulders back it's like that. The reason why it's so important to do that is because it keeps you stable. Like it keeps you locked in. It keeps your lats engaged. It keeps your just whole back just engaged. And most people, they kind of, when they're doing first doing this movement, they're kind of too forward or they're too back. And just this is like the perfect, perfect position you want to be in when you're pulling. So yeah. That's like the first thing. Just before you even pulling, just retract it. And then when you do pull, you want to make sure that one, you're pulling to like your sternum. So if you don't know like where it is, it's basically in like the middle area of your chest. And then when you're pulling, you want to be, I'm, I'm, I'm big on mind muscle connection. So whenever I'm pulling, whenever I'm doing this move, when I'm doing any back move, I'm thinking, just pulling with my pinkies and my elbows. So any movement, it's just pinkies and elbows. I don't care anything else. And I feel like that's the reason why most people feel it. This movement specifically in their arms a lot. That's why I probably was when I was first beginning too. I wasn't really thinking about that mind muscle connection, but I, I feel like that's probably one of the most important things for any lifter. Because for, for me, it changed my whole lifting thing like I feel every muscle now when I lift it's just I feel like it's just very important so remember pinkies and elbows when you pull so I'm gonna just demonstrate it so you can like see a visual uh representation But yeah, um, that was it. Okay, so that was kind of just my basic tips. If you can't feel your lats on a lat pull down, it's pretty simple, you know. Like this move, this movement is pretty confusing for when you start, you know, first doing it. But I promise you, like, just get your reps in and like just continue to do it. Even if you like don't feel your lats, you're probably still working them. You just like the mind muscle connection just isn't there for you, you know. And that's fine, you know. That's how. It is for as a beginner, you know, that's how I was. But yeah, I like, kind of try to develop that mind muscle connection. I promise you, it's gonna help a lot, especially on back days, because those were like my worst days. And then I started to actually like, gain a mind muscle connection. And then that's when like, I started really making progress on my back because I actually, I don't know, I was focused, you know? So yeah, the wide grip pull down is gonna be a great overall stimulus or just your overall back, you know, your upper back, your lats, even some of your delt, maybe bicep and forearms, you know? But something that when you do kind of get that down, a better way to really target your lats on a pull down variation is to have like a closer grip. So I, you've probably seen these attachments and like, you know, cable attachments at your gym, like the V-bar, the like the V-bar grip attachment thingy. I'll put a picture a bit of it up here in case you haven't seen it before. But yeah, it's like those this close grip uh, pull down thingies, you know? That if you use those on a pull down, those are gonna be better for targeting just your lats. 
this the wide grip pull down is still gonna be it's still gonna be great for lats you know you can still grow big lats with this you know it's basically a pull up you know so that's why it's still a good movement and you should still be kind of doing it but if you want like a more lat focused then a closer grip where like you kind of come in a neutral position like this these would be better for your lats because they allow for more shoulder extension and basically that's how you the main function of the lats but yeah so that's just a better way if you want you could experiment with that but if you have any questions comments concerns leave them in the comments below definitely will respond hope you have a great day and peace